If you are subscribed for a particular type of content on the screen right now, you can see future upcoming three videos. So if you see something you're interested in, stay tuned. Greetings everybody, welcome to a new episode of Windows Theme. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to give your desktop a little bit of the Android or just in general smartphone feel. Let's get to it. be a short one for this particular tutorial you need these two files if you're wondering where to download this the website ytpriest.weebly.com there is a blog that you can check out before we even get started click on the start type in restore click on create a restore point click on configure turn on the system protection and the disk space slide it up a little bit so there is some space to use for the restore points Hit OK, click Create, and under the Create a Restore Point, type in No Changes, and hit Create. After that's done, you can always click on System Restore button, click Next, and here is my System Restore Point that I have created called Starting Point. As you can see, type Manual, and I can always use it to go back if I make some changes that I don't like, if I run into any issues. So don't attempt to copy what I do unless you create a Restore Point, just to be safe. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Rain Meter. And I will not run Rain Meter right away. Next, what I'll do is I'll simply double click this file. Oh, never mind. We got to run it. Okay. Once the Rain Meter opens up, double click this file. Choose what you want. You have a couple of skins and plugins and simply click install. After that's done installing, you will see a settings window that pops up. You can read all of this here. You also have credits for each one of these things if you're interested to download them. Okay, so once you install this skin, first thing you need to do is open up Rain Meter, find this skin, and then go to Home, select Home Ini, and click Load. You're going to see this happen. Then you can simply drag it at the bottom of your screen. But yeah, first thing you might also want to do is uh, unlock your taskbar, move it at the top or maybe at the right, I'm going to use it at the top, and then you can go to uh, taskbar settings and make sure that uh, taskbar automatically hides itself. So for something like this. Then you can simply move this little bar at the bottom of the screen. You can also load the volume panel if, you, if you'd like to do that. And there's also the clock, which I use 24 hours. So there we go, that's that there as well. I'm actually going to position it. I, I guess you can position it wherever you want. I'm not going to use the volume panel. And this is what we have. So let's click close. And now let's have settings opened up. Also, you might want to right click. Uh, you might want to hide the desktop icons as well. So let's see what this theme offers and what, what we can do. First thing, I'm going to click on the theme. And here you can actually change the colors. But this you might want to adjust towards the wallpaper that you're using. So when changing the color, first thing let's do is apply the wallpaper. So here I have a wallpaper. Paper. and I'm actually going to set it as a desktop background by the way I'm just gonna move this up a little bit so you guys can see the credits who actually made it and there we go I'm gonna put that down at the bottom and now I can actually change the colors so for example I could go with matching the colors of these windows and roll with something like this maybe I have a little bit more flexibility with this theme to roll with some you know different colors but I think I think this one's gonna fit it just fine right here or maybe even this one yeah, this one actually fits it perfectly. There we go. I'll actually move the time up here. You have a couple of buttons down here. We have trash, player, home, games, and I think this should be for apps. But let me click the home button, and as you can see right here, we have an application that I added. So basically, you can click this configuration button here, and then you can go to apps and just add different applications that you have in your system. So for example, I can just go ahead and add this. Maybe add Photoshop. Maybe add... I don't know, whatever programs I have, I'm just going to add a couple of them really quickly to show you guys. Now, if you check down here, you actually have this little information icon. If you left mouse button click, you can change the icon. But if you right click, you can change the path to the program. So you can add whatever program you desire here. Next, we also have a little section for games. So let me click there and I can add whichever game I desire here, of course. So I'm just going to, oh, sorry about that. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add a couple of games. Next up, 
I'm gonna click music and we, here we have actually music players so you have a couple of them and I'm actually going to left click to select a mu music player and I'm gonna right click to change its path and then I'm gonna simply navigate towards where I have Winamp installed and I'm just gonna click it there there it is basically that's what you have to do finally we also have weather you can choose the weather unit and also a uh, location code so it actually loads the weather for you. So there we go. After you basically gone through all of these and after you're done, you can hit the X and let's see what we have. So if I click the home over here, you can see I have a couple of apps that I uh, added there basically. Also, if I click on the games, you can see I have a couple of them and here are the apps. So games, apps, and we also have audio player. So you actually have to play some music in the background. And of course, finally, we have trash. You can actually empty your bin from there. If you hover over the audio icon on the right, you can actually scroll your mouse wheel up and down and change the volume. You can also click it and change the volume like that. Right click lowers it by 10% or just 10 in general and left click increases it by 10. And also again, you have this settings icon if you want to change something. If you are done with your settings, if you don't want to move anything, you can right click on any section of the skin. You can go to settings and untick draggable. So as you can see, if I click now, I cannot drag this at all. But I can drag this little clock up here. One more thing I forgot is the shutdown button. Don't be afraid to click it. Because if you click it, it actually uh, gives you a couple of options. So this button will not actually turn off your computer just by clicking it once. So accidents can't really happen. It's all good. Yeah, and finally, once you're done, play your favorite soundtrack and enjoy your desktop. And as you can see, we have a player working. The music is running and you can enjoy your new desktop so thank you so much for tuning into this video if you enjoyed it do let me know in the comments what do you think if you guys think maybe i should make videos without the commentary and also if you have a particular request feel free to post it in the comments below and that's going to be it for this little episode thank you so much for tuning in it's been a pleasure can't wait to see you in future episodes gotta go now priest signing out